I personally also like to do a little white outline around everything. So I'm going to, wait, does that look like a butt? <laughs> boo boo, does my butterfly look like a butt? Yeah. Man, <laughs> boo boo, how am I gonna make it not look like a butt? Man, I ran out of time outside. It's cold and it's gonna rain. Don't wanna paint right before it rains cause then it's just, anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this tiny little canvas. Now look, here's a pro tip. All right, now we're good. So now my wall isn't gonna get painted on. I have a paper on the back and these guys are going on there and I can do some painting. I'm gonna show you guys what I do and how I do it. I took one class when I was pregnant. I got emotional. I got upset with one of the teachers. <laughs> it's just long story is mean. And I'm like, this isn't helping us. He was like, if you want a good grade, don't mess up. Don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. It was a whole lot of don'ts. But the teacher right before him who went out of town, he was my favorite. He was like, guys, do do this, do do that. I feel bad, but I wrote it in this little thing at the end. I was like, man, you're very negative in your approach and it's very discouraging. And I watched the whole class kind of go because nobody wanted to do anything. He was just so, well, you're gonna get in trouble if you do it wrong. But nobody wants to hear that. Encourage, positive. So anyway, I have forgotten all of what my first teacher had taught me. He taught me how to do it and what to do. I don't remember the techniques. I remember him being surprised I'd never taken a class before. And so I'm using that same like looking at stuff to keep going. So this is what I've been doing. Let me get my phone. So maybe you guys can do it along with me. You don't need a canvas. You don't need a bunch of paint. You can use a marker. You can use crayon. You can use pencils. You can use a pen. Just all practice and all fun. And while I do this, my baby boy's over here playing. <laughs> what are you playing? Well, I just logged into a cooking simulator. Ooh. So we usually jam some music out, but we're gonna cut that for just right now. Butterfly. It's butterfly milk. What's butterfly milk? That means it's a milk, but it's a butterfly that's covered in milk. But, oh, covered in milk. Hey, that's better than what I was thinking. <laughs> we're gonna do images and let's find something that speaks to us. Oh, I love that one because it's beautiful. It's a rainbow mark. I love colorful ones. When I first started learning, I emulated everything I saw. Like that Wonder Woman. That is from from a famous artist in the 70s, pop art named Roy Lichtenstein. Lichtenstein? Along with Andy Warhol and they did all the pop art stuff, right? I was just enamored by it. So I mimicked it so that I could understand certain ways and then I had to learn how acrylics work. I had to learn how they work on concrete. I learned a whole lot. And then I moved on to something else and moved on to something else and then I started learning how to do it myself. And this is how I learned how to do that. So let's take something that we think is beautiful. Boo boo. Yeah? Of these butterflies, which one do you like? Oh, you like this one. Yeah, because it kind of has like a rainbow pattern. That is beautiful. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a drawing tool that I don't have here. I need a pencil or something. Ooh, I have some pencils. Ah, Captain America pencil. Ooh, you have a lot to choose from here. What about? Oh, we're looking at shape. It's going to be hard to get it equal, but if you want it equal, you could do a grid. You could take this and grid it out and see how many lines go which way. But I kind of like to eyeball it because I don't have time for grids. Let's do a shape. I do one half first, and then I look away from this and mimic the second half from here. So let's do, let's see his head. Get in there, what's his head look like? Okay, looks kind of like an oval, right? Let's do an oval. There we go. Oh, he's got a little bit of a body. He's got two parts of his body. One part of his body goes like this. Second part of his body goes out a little bit bigger. And I did not leave me any room for his tentacles, but that's okay. And I've got him going kind of crooked for some reason, but whatever. Then now it looks like he has a butt. Here's his butt. That looks decent. Doesn't even have to be like perfect or anything, huh? Let's move it on to this side. That looks like it goes fairly far. Look at the size of his head. How many heads do you think will make that really long thing? I think it'll make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 heads. If this head is this big, it'd be one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 heads. So I think that's gonna be here. Let's count it this way. One, two, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Ah, they're about the same. And then look, it looks like it goes, oops, there's a person in my spy cam. Looks like it goes down a little. Let's see, where does it start? It starts over here on that second body. So let's add that for there, and that for there, and that second body. You see that? And then it goes down a couple of clicks from the second body. So it doesn't go here now, it goes down. Where does it match up over here? If we had a ruler, which I have somewhere, oh, you know what? 
I have a really long brush. His middle body goes all the way to his tail. What part of his tail does it go to? Three quarters of the weight of his tail. This is where his middle body is gonna go. That's how far it goes. That's very interesting. So that's gonna go there. And then this, that's gonna go there. Okay, so we're gonna disregard that. We would erase it, but this bunny doesn't erase. <laughs> Look at how good these things erase on canvas. Oops, my canvas is moving. Okay, they mostly erase. We're gonna cover that anyway, so no matter. Now, Eddie has a totally different way of doing all this. Everybody's got their way and their style. You just do what's comfortable for you. It looks like the rest of the wing goes down a little further than his butt. It has a little bit of a rounded boo. It looks like it goes further because I need space to go from the rounded boo to the corner. So the roundy boot will go here. Does that look right? The other roundy boot will go here. And then this looks like it goes at an angle. And then this looks like it goes at an angle. Now, we're using pencil. You can erase, you can scribble. We're gonna paint over this whole thing, right? Come over here and we're gonna make a nice little beautiful circle. And then we're gonna make that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Don't knock yourself too hard. If it's not perfect, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now this will go that way. This will go that way. Now, look at these beautiful full sides. I think those are gorgeous. Looks like it starts where? Like right in the middle of the second belly. And then it goes to this clip. Middle of second belly. <laughs> Looks beautiful. Here's where I personally put this away. Bye bye. Now we're gonna take it from here and make it our own. I'm gonna start off with my base colors. I love this color because it has a little bit of sparkle. It's metallic cobalt blue. I love this color. I like to use it anytime I can. I'm gonna use a teeny weeny brush and you don't have to use paint. You could totes use. Ooh, this one has a little curve to it. Markers, you can use crayons, watercolor. Although I have never painted with watercolor. That's too smushy. Hold on, let's paint this one. Oh man. I've never painted with this before. That, oh, okay. Yep, 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 this one's good. You just, it's a learning curve, huh? Yeah, that's a learning curve. But have you ever seen one like this? It just goes. Uh, Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. It's hard. Ugh. Easy to mess up. I need something a little thicker than that. You know, it's easier if you do your background first and then go on top of it. But for me, I don't do that. <laughs> I just, I don't know why. I don't know why I don't do that. I should do that. Makes sense. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be much better. There we go. That's much, much easier. So this is my base. Acrylic dries pretty fast, which is good and bad. It's good because you could just keep going with layers, but it's bad because yeah, it's hard to blend. I end up doing depth and stuff by adding like lines or dots instead of blending color. Oh my gosh, it's so hard on concrete. My friend that started doing butterflies with me, was learning with me. 77, couldn't believe it. She didn't look a day over 60. She couldn't believe how hard it was to art on concrete. All right, this is where I start losing my mind. Just not used to it. such a small thing. I had to hold my breath sometimes. Anyway, next step, I wanna do that color. So let's wash it, wash it. Oh, now I can use this one. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, that is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna color this in. Oh yeah, look at how beautiful that is. Okay, so look, I'm stopping here because I think I'm gonna add a second color that's gonna be there. It's always good to stop, sit back, and take a look. My right wing is bigger than my second wing. I'm okay with that. He looks like he's going a little to the side, but that would mean that I believe that his wing would be more out here because he'd be like flying sideways. So this is whenever you can make those little adjustments. I feel like this guy can go up a little more. Oh, look, the texture, it's changing. I haven't painted on a canvas a little one in a while since that sailfish. And look, you can do all kinds of fun stuff with the texture. Oh yeah, look at that. So I can either do a double layer or I can just leave it all textury, which I think I might actually do. Okay, that looks better. All right, now let's work on that color. Oh, <laughs> metallic leaf green. Oh, that's pretty. Man, I've been putting too much. I'm used to being outside where you have to have a lot, but here you don't. It's teeny weeny candy. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, this is gonna be very cute. Oh man, I really like the way this looks. I'm just like kind of going around in little swirly do's and it just looks cool. And I think it'll look really cool because it's just one layer because I'm gonna add some other stuff. But what it's adding to it, it's giving it a little bit of depth, you know? Is that the right word I'm looking for? Depth? I don't know. I might go back and try that over there too. Oh, it looks really cool. Super good. Look at all of the little details. Now I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna work on the background. <laughs> should probably do first, but you know what? This is why I don't do it first because I don't know what it's gonna look like. How can I do the background first? This is how my brain works. How can I do the background first so I don't know what the foreground looks like? I need to match that. So I am more interested in what the front looks like than I am what the back looks like. But I don't know what it looks like until I start doing it. 
so that's just, that's how I roll. Now that I've seen this, what can I do to make it pop? You know what, I might bring in some fuchsias to make it really go pop pow. So I had to go to my stash outside and I found this really sparkly. I'm into the sparkles lately. They just make me happy. And let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, except I didn't wash that. I don't know. <laughs> Great. Just use a whole new one. Yep, look at all the blue coming out in that. Look at my massive brush. I can't wait to use this. I'm gonna use it on the peacock when I start doing it anyway. See, it's a little bit thin. It's really thin. Maybe we like that. And I'm glad I put this here. Look, it's already coming in handy because I keep in the sides, but maybe I like that. Let's see if I can do some sort of a squiggly or something to make it look super cool. Ooh! All right, so some of it's drying, so it's actually allowing me to come in and put like extras on top. Let's see what happens if I use the really bright stuff. Does it? Oh yeah, look at it. Just a different color. Gives it a little bit more depth. That's awesome. All right, let me finish this up. Yeah, see, I wouldn't have known that had I started because I didn't know what color I was gonna color it because I kind of wanted to make it my own. All right, I'm a thousand percent happy with the background. Yep. Okay, so I have some bleeding happening, so let's go fix that. That's awesome. I love it so far. Now I'm going to add a little accoutrement. Like, I feel like this could go really cool this right there. Gotta be careful. Stuff is still very wet. Make a line that goes right here. Eddie has really good tips. He's like, whenever you paint like this, use something to hold your arm up and don't paint with your wrist. Paint with your whole wrist, not like this. And he's like, your lines will be more confident. And I have found that to be true outside. I am gonna use the wall. I wanted a thinner line than that, but whatever. Kind of rushing through it, good. Make some kimchi in a little bit. Get some dinner going for boys. Oh, yeah. I personally also like to do a little white outline around everything, so I'm going to, wait. Does that look like a butt? <laughs> boo boo! Does my butterfly look like a butt? Yeah. Man, <laughs> boo boo! How am I gonna make it not look like a butt? This is my, this is called my butt butterfly. <laughs> this is my butt butterfly. Welcome to it. Man, looks like a butt. Yeah, it looks like butt. <laughs> anyway, that's beside the point. Now again, this is our own interpretation. So we had our first picture, which was the reference, right? Now we're gonna make it our own. I love doing itty bitty dots. I don't know why. I just like them. Look at what it does. It just wakes up the butt. <laughs> Let's accentuate our butt with dots. Look at how pretty. <laughs> Ooh, I love it already. Why don't we go ahead and do like another color and let's see what another color would look like on it. Oh, that's gonna bring it out. Looking good. Now I wanna add like an orange. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah. Well, I need to actually dry my brush. Sometimes the oranges and yellows need like second and third coats. So I have to make sure it gets really globbed on there. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, it's looking cooler. I think I do want a yellow next. Let's see if it holds better. It does, cause it's dry. Look at that. It is just popping. This might be my final color. We'll see. Oh, wow. It's looking really great. Okay, so it looks like I can fit one more color on the very inside, but you know what? I'm not going to. I'm gonna leave that as negative space. Okay, so my final thing that I like to do, I like to put a white border around my things, and I don't know why I just do. I think it just makes it really pop out. Ooh, he's looking good so far. Now I kinda wanna add a little bit to the body, and I've decided on a cute little purple, just to add some color, and I'm gonna do the dots. Look at how pretty. All right, I did it. I wanted to differentiate these dots from the ones from the wings, so I made them a little bit tighter, and and just pop them all the way through. And I love it. This is my butterfly. Let's look at our reference again. Here is our reference. And here is our butterfly. I love it. I love it. Wait, mine would be like this. <laughs> I love it. I think it looks like me. It feels like me. Boo boo, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Would you hang up my butterfly in your room? Yeah. Nah, you would hang up my butt butterfly? <laughs> Good, because it's yours. I love you. <laughs> you all. Why didn't you say thank you? Does that mean you're not I really going to put it out? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why didn't you say no. thank you? I gave you a gift from my heart. All right, guys, that's how I do it. It's really easy, really simple, and really fun. Just make that outline and go. What's going on with the background? Explain yourself, your sorcery. No, I'm not. This is your interpretation. It's absolutely beautiful. Really, I love you the like background. it? Explain your sorcery. How did really? you do that background, bro? Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> look, you get like a miniature Bob Ross, babe. Everything you need is like a tiny afro. <laughs> 
Look at you see that one? Yeah. It was too light. And so I did swirlies. And then I'm like, what happens if I oh, put like so a little of the pink? Yeah. And then I did little swirlies. And look at how beautiful it came out. It's beautiful. Would now, you hang it up in your room? Absolutely. Now, it's yours. What? Uh oh, I'll totally put it up. See, oh. Now, the question I have, the burning question I have is, why did you paint it so big? So you could have made it like much smaller. You need to leave. You know what it is, babe? I've been watching- Get out of here! From across the room and you had this massive wall. <laughs> and then, like, it looks so good. Can I really have it? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye! Parting with Strider.